There are so many different types of habitats, I'm going to cover most of them in this video. I'll also cover how to place them so you can specialize your habitats. Habitats are very powerful and using them correctly is a must. To build habitats, you need the Orbital Habitats technology. You get this by getting the Starhole technology. The Starhole technology is a Tier 2 technology and Habitats is a Tier 3. So to get Tier 2, you need to research 6 Level 1 technologies. For Tier 3, you need 6 Tier 2 technologies. Link to the tech tree is in the description. To place a habitat, select a construction ship and click the Megastructures button. Then click Habitat from the list and choose a planet to place it on. What resources the planet has determines what kind of habitat you can turn it into. Left click a planetary body with a neon green highlight ring and the construction ship will build the habitat there. Habitats cost 150 influence and 1500 alloys so make sure you have enough resources to make one. Once it's built you must colonize it. If you name the planet the habitat is built on to its designation, the name will pop up and remind you when it's time to colonize. Just a tip there to help you organize your habitat. There are several different habitats that are created depending on what resource the planet you're building the habitat on has. Example, if you place a habitat on a planet with minerals in your empire, you will get mineral district slots on your habitat. This is perfect when you're short on minerals and you don't have enough planets. I like to build a lot of these in my playthroughs. Make sure you build only mining districts or you're wasting potential minerals. Make sure you have a mineral purification hub, a hollow theater, and designate the habitat as a mining station. You now have a proper mining habitat that when fully populated will net you far more minerals than the planet you built the habitat on was giving you. Next is a generator habitat. These habitats provide energy credits to your empire. To make one, build a habitat on a barren planet with energy credits on it. You know you placed it correctly because you will have four reactor districts available. Make sure you only build reactor districts on the habitat, otherwise you're wasting potential energy credit generation. Make sure you build a hollow theater for amenities, then an energy nexus for even more energy. Make sure you designate the habitat as a generator station. It may take some searching within your empire because planets with energy credits are not as common as research and minerals, as most energy credits are normally on the system star, not the planets themselves. To make a research habitat, look at your systems for any research on planets within them. The type of research doesn't matter. When you build the habitat, you will get research districts. Build a hollow theater then research labs, and only build research districts to make the most out of your research habitat. Make a research institute when you upgrade your habitat's central control. Don't forget to set the designation to research station. Refinery habitats are different than other specialized habitats in that you don't get special districts for building a habitat on a strategic resource like rare crystals. Instead, you get buildings that are available based on the strategic resource it's built on. For example, if you build on an exotic gas planet, exotic gas buildings will be available to build on the habitat. Designate the habitat as a refinery station and build any resource buildings that are available. As for districts, I would make some leisure districts to compensate for not having a hollow theater. Industrial habitats don't require a resource to be built. Just choose a normal planet with no resource. Once built, build a hollow theater and build all industrial districts. You have three designations to choose from here. Foundry stations produces just alloys from your industrial districts instead of consumer goods and give a bonus to alloy production. Factory station produces consumer goods from your districts instead of alloys and give a bonus to consumer good production. Industrial districts provide both alloys and consumer goods and give you a smaller bonus to each. Make sure you build a hollow theater for amenities and the civilian industries building and or alley foundry depending on designation. Unity habitats specialize in generating unity for your empire. Set designation to unification station. Build leisure districts, then fill building slots with administrative offices, an autothon monument and a curator vault or equivalent. Choose a planet with no resources on it for this one. 
Next are trade habitats. These generate trade value. Build this on a planet devoid of resources in a system with a starbase, preferably a starbase specialized for trade and trade protection. Build only trade districts and designate as a trade station. Fill building slots with a hollow theater and commercial zones. Building this is very powerful when playing a trade build. Fortress habitats are great for naval capacity. Make habitation and leisure districts, then build a military academy, then fill the rest of your building slots with strongholds. Upgrade at least one stronghold to a fortress to get an FTL inhibitor. Fortress stations with FTL inhibitors are a great way of halting or slowing an invading empire. Just place them on choke points for even more stalling. Then we have agricultural habitats. To make one, just pick an empty planet and set designation to hydroponics station. You must do this to have your habitation districts produce food. Build only habitation districts once this is done. Build a hollow theater, a food processing facility, and then fill the remaining slots with hydroponics farms. Last are resource silo habitats. Place this one on an empty world as well and choose at least one leisure district and the rest whatever you want. Then fill all slots with resource silos. Resource silos increase your maximum resource capacity. Designate it as a leisure station or whatever designation you want. It really doesn't matter. So now you got an idea of what types of habitats you can build, let's talk about how to upgrade your habitat once it's built. Each time you upgrade the habitat control center, you get more building slots. Taking the Voidborn Ascension perk also gives more building slots to all habitats. It also allows you to upgrade the habitat itself to advanced habitats and habitat worlds, each providing additional district slots. So get additional districts by clicking Decisions and choosing Upgrade Habitat. You are allowed to upgrade habitats by taking the Voidborn Ascension perk and then researching Habitat Expansion to upgrade once and Advanced Space Habitation to upgrade again to Habitat Worlds. Make sure you completely fill all district slots on a habitat or you won't be able to upgrade the habitat. Habitats are a great way to dump extra influence and alloys mid to late game. Habitats are also great for tall empires. I would get habitats as soon as possible. That's it. If you like my stuff, you know what to do. Thanks and I'll see you next time.